$250,000. I mean, these are expensive rigs, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what do we have here? So, I mean, this is everything that we're going to need on a given call. Mm -hmm. We have our stretcher with cardiac monitoring mm -hmm. and vital mon monitoring software. We have supplies up top for any IVs, right. which will help for our paramedic crews to administer medications. Mm -hmm. And the key here is, is again, just to stabilize the patient, you know, a car accident or something happened at home to stabilize a person to get them to the hospital. Yes, absolutely. We are the first point of contact, mm -hmm. but really the patient care starts with us. Mm -hmm. It's not just a ride to the hospital. We're providing definitive care to the right. patient while they're being transported for that higher level of care. How much training do you have to you know, go through um, to be an EMT? <laughs> I mean, what's the training like? Sure, a standard EMT course is around 120 hours of classroom instruction, okay. plus ride-alongs and clinicals to build up the skills. Um, a lot of people can do that in a one semester course hmm. at a university or through a local ambulance station. And then who pays, would, like if it's a small town, let's say a small town, does the city kind of pay for that coursework? I mean, because they're going to be volunteering. Sure. Yeah. A lot of the times our, our local partners are doing that. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started my career with Wabasha Ambulance and um, they is an excellent crew. That's one of the main ways that they are starting to build that roster. Right. So you got the training mm -hmm. and then you got the hands on, the hands on thing. The EM, explain briefly the difference between an EMR and an EMT and a paramedic. Did I get that right? Yeah, he did. Okay. Um, those are three different levels of care that can be provided. So uh, EMR the EMR, the emergency first responder or medical, medical responder, is really the responsible for getting on scene and stabilizing the patient with the most critical interventions. Make sure they have an airway, make sure they mm -hmm. uh, can start CPR in a rapid base if, if needed. The EMT has a slightly higher scope of practice. They can do more invasive interventions, uh, but then the paramedic crew is the crew that'll be giving medications. Okay. Um, and they can do quite a bit in this truck while going to a hospital. 